All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this month's Dokkan V-Jump leaks are officially here and there are some pretty interesting details to go over. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So first things first, we have the New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest uh, units revealed here. And, you know, recently a lot of people have been speculating what the units would be this time around. Maybe a Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Kid Buu. Maybe, you know, the Saiyan Saga Kaioken Goku and Vegeta and so on and so forth. My personal pick was a new Janemba and Super Gogeta because we haven't had new versions of those units in a long time, right? Well, it turns out that I was half right because we are going to be getting a brand new Janemba, which I'm extremely, extremely excited about. Janemba is probably one of my favorite movie villains, probably like top two or three. And uh, it was time, you know, we got a new one since the last one we got was literally, uh, let's see, this guy right here, the SDR Janemba, who came out in April of 2017 on JP, right? So a very, very long time ago. But the other half, oh, spoilers, the other half of this Duel Dokkan vest is not Super Gogeta like a lot of people, including myself, you know, was expecting. Instead, it's going to be a PyCon. It's going to be a... Dokkan Festival exclusive PyCon. Now look, I have nothing against PyCon. I think he's a cool character. I think he's fine. I just wasn't expecting PyCon to be part of a dual Dokkan Festival, if I'm being completely honest, but it's okay. It's okay. It's just a surprise. I mean, I'm still trying to process exactly how I feel about this, but look, that's that's the leak, man. That's the reveal. That's what's happening. We're getting a new PyCon. We're getting a new Janemba Dual Dokkan Fest for uh, the end of the year on JP. And in terms of when it's coming out, uh, if we look at last year's Dual Dokkan Festival, it was between this Goku and the uh, Attack Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, right? And they came out on the 26th. So December 26th, the day after um, Christmas. So I'm expecting that this year's Dual Dokkan Fest should be around the same time, maybe with a few days of discrepancy, like 27th, 28th, something like that, but basically end of the month is uh, when you can expect these guys to drop, and probably within like a day or two we'll get the official images, so we see what the art looks like, and uh, we probably won't get the details until, I would say in like a week or so, we'll have to see though, obviously when the details come out, I'll make sure to, you know, keep you guys aware. Now for PyCon, of course he just goes from SSR PyCon to UR PyCon, but he also has a unit special move or a partner um, token attack, or, or no, not token attack, partner super attack, right? So just like the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, I'm assuming that if you have a maybe Gogeta on the same rotation, they'll perform a different super attack. And uh, that's pretty cool. You know, it's a new mechanic that we really haven't seen a lot of. I mean, it just came out, so it makes sense. But I'm hoping that they implement this unit special move slash partner, you know, super attack mechanic more in the future. And it looks like PyCon is going to be the next summonable unit to get this mechanic. And then for Janemba, he's going to go SSR Janemba to UR Janemba. I'm assuming Fat Janemba and then into... Super Janemba, so he has a transformation. So PyCon has the unit special move, whereas Janemba has a transformation into Super Janemba, maybe through an active skill, maybe just like a, you know, transformation that automatically happens after a certain amount of turns or after a condition is met. Honestly, I hope it's an active skill because um, it's just better to have control over when you want to transform, right? And uh, apparently there's also going to be a campaign that makes it easier to train. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I mean, it sounds to me just like the boosted like success rate for training, but that's kind of lame because we get that all the time. So maybe there's going to be some kind of a new event that allows you to get a ton of training items or something like that. I'm not really sure to be honest, but that's kind of what it sounds like to me. And we're also going to be getting a new LR Bobbity and Majin Buu. Okay, and this is going to be a free-to-play LR. I don't know if it's going to be Battlefield. I don't know if it's going to be uh, a legendary, not, not legendary campaign, a prime battle or a friend summon LR or something like that. There's not really much to go off of here, right? But it is going to be free to play. That's for sure. It's going to be a Bobbity and uh, Majin Buu LR. 
and uh, someone was saying like that active scale should be like Majin Buu punches Bobbity's head off. I'd be like, yo, that'd be sick, man. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's probably gonna be um, a pretty good unit, I'm assuming. And of course, once we get details for them, I'll also, also make sure to let you guys know in a, another video. Um, one, one funny thing, actually, is that Global still doesn't have the uh, Bobbity and Tabora LR for Battlefield. And now we're gonna get a new LR with Bobbity once again, this time with Majin Buu. And uh, hopefully, you know, at, at the same time this comes out on, on JP, Global can get, can get the Bobbity and Tabura just to, you know, ensure that we're not too behind. But it is what it is, whatever, you know, like I'm used to things being out of order or out of whack for Global, so um, it's fine. Anyways, <laughs> aside from that, okay, so after the LR Maj Bobbity and Majin Buu, we're also getting a new Krillin Legendary Campaign, so... It says just Krillin new event, but I think this is talking about the uh, Prime Battle LR Krillin um, Legendary Campaign. Okay, so just like all other Legendary Campaigns, especially the ones for Prime Battle LRs, I'm assuming it's going to look something like this one right here for the Prime Battle Cell. And, uh, you know, for the Forest Form Frieza, Super Saiyan Trunks, so on and so forth. It should be basically if you already have the LR Krillin Awakened to LR status, before the campaign starts, you'll get 10 Dragon Stones, a couple of Kai's, a couple of Reversal Medals, and then during the campaign, if you, you know, get him to LR status, the, the you know, uh, Krillin instead of the Cell here, uh, there's gonna be 20 Stones, then uh, 7 more Kai's for getting the Krillin to level Super Attack 20, and then obviously when you rainbow the Krillin, you'll get all your orbs back. So, um, it should be, yeah, it should be the same setup here as uh, all other legendary campaigns for Prime Battle LRs. Uh, the actual event, the Prime Battle event for Krillin should be uh, available daily, and the stamina cost should be reduced by half. And they should also give us a boost category for the uh, event to, you know, make it easier to grind the medals. And uh, also, obviously, you know, events for the units that you can use to actually challenge the event, you know, maybe the units that are, you know, part of the boost category. And what else do we have? Oh, also, of course, the Fizz Hidden Potential event will be, avail will be available every single day. Um, this is just assumptions, right? We're just basing it off the past campaigns, but this is most likely what the um, Krillin campaign will look like. And that's going to be coming with, I'm assuming, you know, the Dual Dual Confest as well for JP players. So there you go, guys. That is this month's Dokkan V-Jump League. Um, the big surprise, obviously, is the PyCon and Janemba. I mean, like I said, I was half right. Okay, I, I, I called Janemba and Gogeta. I think most people thought that if we, were, if we were gonna get a new Janemba, then Gogeta was naturally gonna come with him. But instead, we got the PyCon. I mean, I'm sure he'll be great. I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, the, only, the only concern with uh, PyCon is, of course, there's a lack of categories for him. And, um... There's also going to be probably, I mean, he's going to have some good links. Like, hopefully, they give him Prepare for Battle, you know, Fierce Battle. So, like, those two alone are, are going to be enough to link with, like, a good amount of units in the game. But he's probably going to have some of those, like, very niche links. Like, what does this guy have? Uh, yeah, Gentleman, for example. Uh, Otherworld Warriors. Experienced Fighters. Um, like, they're not too bad. This link set's not too bad, actually. But he's going to have some niche links in there for sure. But, um, yeah, like, the, the categories are a bit of an issue, right? Like, this guy has Worthy Rivals, Otherworld Warriors, Saviors, and Battle of Wits, four categories. It's not the worst we've seen. There's, like, LRs out there with, like, two categories, but still, he's not going to have that many team-building um, options, unfortunately. For Janemba, though, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Like, Movie Boston's Transformation Boost right now, right? So, I mean, of course... They're both probably going to bring in a new category, so you can at least add one category to each of these guys. But um, I guess I'm a little bit biased. Like I was talking about Pycon's categories, but like Janemba is actually worse, right? In terms of like how many teams he fits on. I'm just excited we're getting a new Janemba. Honestly, like I just I've wanted a new Janemba for a long time. I'm just really excited that it's finally happening. I'm expecting um, him to have some kind of a counter dodge animation where he goes you know pixelated and all that stuff that's gonna be awesome and uh yeah guys that is gonna be today's video that there's there's no much not much else to talk about we don't have any 
other details for them. I mean, with V-Jump Leaks, they're usually pretty ambiguous. They basically just tell us, like, you know, the actual units and maybe a couple of events, and that's it. They don't really go into detail about what the units do or any of that stuff. So uh, that's, that's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about these leaks, how you guys feel about these, you know, new units. And uh, if you're a JP player, do you plan to summon when this dual dual compass drops for uh, New Year's, okay? And, oh, one last thing for my Legends players out there. There's gonna be a Dragon Ball Super Broly movie Frieza coming to the game. And uh, it says, only a cute impression such as the purpose of collecting DB and the means to a fan of Broly laugh. Um... I'm not sure what that means. Wait, wait. And the purpose of collecting Dragon Balls and the means to offend Broly. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the cute impression thing means. I mean, in the movie, he obviously was trying to collect the Dragon Balls. Um, yeah, I'm kind of confused, to be honest. But I, I think, yeah, there's going to be a Final Form Frieza from the Broly movie coming to Legends. Anyways, yo, I'm not a Legends guy, so uh, <laughs> my bad. But... Uh, <clears throat> In terms of the Dokkan leaks, there you go, and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely, you know what, we gotta leave this video on this guy right here. He's about to make a, uh, he's gonna about to make a comeback in a big way, man. And, uh, yeah, as always, if you like today's video, make sure to like the damn video, and... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe. <clears throat> what is going on with my voice today, man? <clears throat> Sorry, my bad, guys. Uh, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.